Well, ladies and gentlemen, another great day in the stock market. That makes it two straight days in a row of some nice, good old green. So we have to break down the markets in this video and seven stocks like you all saw in the title that I'm looking at now. So hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to get your five stocks from Moo Moo. Link down below. All you have to do is deposit at least $100 and you could get up to five stocks, each of which could be valued up to $3,500. bucks. It's free money. Money, guys get your money link down below and with that being said let's get right into the video so if you all watched my video from earlier today you already know this that spy and triple q both of these are breaking out of the 180 moving average on the 20 day time frame which is great and both spy and triple q we're noticing we are seeing inverse head and shoulders on both of these and before we even talk about that let's see where these close we had the dow up 2.5 percent at close spy ended up going up about 2.2 2.3 percent we had the russell up about the same as spy 2.3 percent and the nasdaq lagged the bunch which usually doesn't happen but that's been the name of the game recently. Tech, NASDAQ has been lagging and went up 1.5% on the day and like I said inverse head and shoulders is very clear on SPY and triple Q <clears throat> on this 20 day chart and we're above the 180 moving average now is this a full on reversal quite yet? No, it's not. We're not even close to that quite yet, um, to be honest with you guys. But it is a good sign initially, uh, the fact that we are seeing two straight green days in a row. We're trading at multi-day highs, the inverse head and shoulders, the breakout of the moving averages. This is great, but I don't think it's a full-on reversal until Triple Q gets out of 355, which is where my alert is right now, and until SPY gets out of, let's say, roughly 445, which is where my alert is on spy so we are seeing some good momentum but we're not there quite yet not there quite yet who knows maybe we do get more upside next week more uh towards these moving uh, not moving averages but these alerts that i set and if we break those points that is where like i said uh we could start moving more aggressively to the upside and take a look at the vix here guys the vix ended up going down nine percent today now overall in the past two days the vix has lost about 30 percent of uh of its value right 30% the VIX is down. So that's pretty crazy. We went almost to 40. Now we're back under 30 on the VIX. And of course, over this weekend, like we learned from last weekend, anything could happen. We could get some negative news, more negative news around um, Ukraine, Russia, attacks, this, that, the third, interest rates, the Fed, anything could happen over the weekend that could really erase the gains that we saw today and yesterday. So that's uh, you know that's one thing worth mentioning and you guys have to keep that in your mind that anything could happen over the weekend. For all we know, we could uh, see the futures market on Saturday or uh, Sunday night at 6 p.m. on the East Coast when it opens. We could see that down in a major way and that could bleed into Monday morning and then boom, poof, just like that. All the gains that we saw today and yesterday they're uh, they're gone. They could evaporate in a second, guys. That's the market that we're in. So always keep that in mind and keep your eyes on the VIX again. If this thing gets back Back over 30 we're going to be seeing some more volatility and fear in these markets and of course watch out for the metals which ended up going down on the day both gold and silver went down about two percent each so if these metals start going back up gold cracks 1900 an ounce silver back over uh, 25 an ounce that is going to signal more fear more people are flushing into the safe haven assets and um, yeah at that point, we might see more downside in the uh, you know stock market. So let me know your thoughts. Drop me a comment in the comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Did you guys get your five stocks yet? If not, use that link down below. Get your five stocks. And now let's talk about some stocks I'm looking at. You guys saw the title, seven stocks. Number one is MGM. This is one that I think they just reported earnings. Um, not too bad of earnings recently. And the stock got hit from 50 bucks down to about 39 during the whole um, you know, sell off the past couple of weeks, it got into a bear market, and the past couple of days, it's actually snapped back a good chunk from 39 bucks. Now we close at about 45 bucks, it ran up 13 percent in just the past two days, guys, which is nuts. And today alone, it went up 3.7 percent. So, by the looks of it, MGM is starting to 
excuse me, is starting to break out of these moving averages, and it clearly solidified a higher low at the bottom of this uptrending channel, and the breakout is very clear. Now, at this point, I could see this going back 48 maybe 50 plus dollars. I could see that easily happening in the short term, especially if the markets continue to recover as they have been over the past, you know, two days, like we just broke down in the beginning of this video. So MGM is showing nice momentum. I'm going to put my alert, eh, where should I put it? 45.50. I'll put it at 45.50 for now. Mark is at or above, and we'll see what ends up happening from that point on MGM. Number two is KR, Kroger. If you guys remember, we talked about this stock a few weeks ago. It ended up ripping, doing very well. And like a lot of stocks, this got hit in the middle of January. It went from 50 bucks down to about 43. It lost 13% of its value, got into a quick little correction territory. Um, they got into a quick, or uh, what am I trying to say here? You guys know what I mean. It got into correction territory, right? And today alone, Kroger went up 4.5%. It broke out of the moving averages. And what we're noticing is it is testing the highs from last week at about $46, $47. I'm going to put my alert at $47 right now, which if we break these highs from last week, guys, there's really no resistance until 50 bucks a share, which is where we got um, shortly after the previous earnings report. And mind you, the upcoming earnings, they come out on the 3rd of March. So what is that's next week, right? Is that next Thursday or something like that? Um, so Kroger's reporting, we're getting to a quick uh, or a big resistance rather at $47. If this breaks, we're going to fill this gap, in my opinion, um, from 47 to 50 bucks. That's going to offer about 6 7% upside. So Kroger <clears throat> KR is one that I'm very interested in right now heading into uh, next week in the early days of March 2022. We also have Keurig Dr. Pepper KDP. Let's pop it up. This went up 4.5% today. They just reported earnings, I believe yesterday they did uh, 45 cents EPS, which came in line with the estimate, and they did revenue of $3.39 billion versus $3.3 billion estimated, so pretty de uh, decent earnings from KDP. They beat revenue. EPS came in line. And like I said, <clears throat> like I said, the stock went up 4.5% on the day. And uh, excuse the voice crack, guys, because we've been cranking out these videos, right? We're making videos a lot here on the channel, on Patreon, TikTok as well. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok at Stas Surfest and on Twitter at Stas Surfest and Instagram for that matter. Why not? Follow me on all those platforms, guys. Um, KDP, yeah, this one's looking like an ascending triangle. It's been making higher lows these past couple of weeks and actually past couple of months, and we uh, see a clear resistance at about 39 a share. So if we end up cracking above 39 next week, this could be a breakout. $40, $45 a share is where it could be going. So watch out for Keurig, Dr. Pepper, TAP, Molson Coors Beverage is another one. They just reported earnings. They actually missed EPS, $0.81 cents versus $0.85 cents estimated, but they beat revenue, $2.62 billion versus $2.55 billion estimated. So nice beat on revenue. They also raised their quarterly dividend from $0.34 cents to $0.38 cents a share. That's pretty nice. I always say if you're a dividend investor, guys, you want to see your dividend growing over time and preferably more than inflation. You know, you want to see your dividend grow more than inflation on a year over year basis. So TAP looks like it's doing that, which is solid. And by the looks of it, it has been reversing. If you take a look at this four hour chart, TAP <clears throat> has been reversing over the past couple of uh, weeks here. You guys can see it's above the moving averages. We're noticing a golden cross. And that's after it was downtrending from June all the way to about December. So a good six months, it was downtrending. Now we're reversing. And we actually closed above the $52 resistance from about a month and a half ago, which is a very good sign that this thing wants to go mid-high 50. So Watch out for TAP on this breakout. It's looking good. Solid earnings, dividend increase. I think this might be going higher in the short term. But as always, guys, 
there are no guarantees. Nobody knows what is going to happen in the stock market over the next couple of days, weeks, let alone the next couple of years, right? Nobody freaking knows. So take these videos with a grain of salt. I'm just breaking down what I'm seeing here, the charts from my personal uh, perspective. So let's talk about the next stock, SoFi, S-O-F-I. <clears throat> let me get some water, guys. Give me a second. Again, I've been cranking out these videos. Make sure to hit that like button if you guys are finding value. <clears throat> So yeah, SoFi, S-O-F-I, this stock went down to $8.45. I think that was uh, the, the day before yesterday, maybe on Wednesday. Let's take a look here. It went to $8.45, and now it's recovered 2 bucks to about ten sixty four. It's up about 25% in the past. Actually, that was yesterday pre-market. It got to about eight forty five. so it's recovered a good chunk. And the reason why I'm watching SoFi here, guys, is because... They have earnings coming up on the first. And on top of that, this is a stock that I used to own, sold out of it. I actually traded a bunch, uh, made a bunch of money on it. And now I've I've just been looking for uh, a re-entry. I'm looking for a re-entry. And who knows, maybe with earnings coming up on the first, we get the earnings call, guidance, EPS, all that good stuff. Maybe we get more clarity about what's going on uh, with SoFi. Maybe this could open up an opportunity for me to get in. And like I always say on this channel, I don't like buying and gambling before earnings. Um, so I'm going to wait till after SoFi reports. And if they do well, like I said, EPS, revenue of guidance is strong. That could really turn the page for the stock for it to, you know, it, it could maybe shift the trend. As you all can see, this has been downtrending since the last earnings report about three months ago. It's gone from 24 to eight dollars. Now, if we get a good report, good guidance, maybe this reverses course. Maybe we start going back into the teens, mid, you know, 10s, 10, 15 bucks, you know, 20 bucks. That's where this could be going. So I'm watching out for SoFi heading into this week. It's beaten down way too much, in my opinion, like a lot of stocks are. Another one I'm looking at is Travelers Companies, TRV. This one up over 4% today. It completely broke out heading into the close, and it seems like it's up after hours. It gapped up even more on top of the 4% gain that it had. So TRV is one that I'm looking at because it is now breaking out of the uh, multi-week resistance. Pretty much all of February, we've struggled at 174. Now we're breaking out of it. And let me see, is that the all-time high? Let's pop this three-year chart up. It probably is. Uh, let me make sure, though. Yeah, it is. So now that we're breaking out of 174, we're taking out that resistance. Where could this leg up take us? 180, 185, maybe 190. You know, that's where TRV could be going. So I'm watching this break out, especially after they reported pretty good earnings. We covered those about a month ago. They crushed earnings. Now the stock's ripping even more. Where could this momentum take us? That's what I'm watching. Uh, that's why I'm watching TRV because, again, it's slowly breaking out. We could be going higher. And the last one, which is also slowly breaking out, could be going higher is Verizon. Not the most sexy company. It's pretty boring, quite honestly, but Verizon has slowly been shifting trend. You know, it's currently up. It went up 3% on the day, and just in the past couple of weeks, it's gone up about 8 9%. It's trading above the moving averages, and now it's actually testing 55 bucks again, which has been a sticking point all of 2022. So I have my alert set at 55 bucks a share. If that point breaks, big if, but if it does break, we could end up seeing a nice move from 55 bucks towards 60 a share. Uh, between 55 60, we could get uh, a nice couple percentage points. And this is more of a, of a conservative um, investment slash trade. You know, this is not going to be uh, one that we nail out of the park and make 50% on. But if we want to, you know, grab a couple percentage points on a breakout. Visa, or not Visa, Verizon, this could end up being an option. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. MGM, Kroger, KDP, TAP, TAP, SoFi, TRV, Travelers Companies, and Verizon. Those are seven stocks that I'm looking at now that are setting up pretty nicely, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, 
Join my Patreon if you guys want all my real-time buys, sells, call-outs, morning update videos, Discord access, and more access to me throughout the day. All of that's on Patreon, link down below, or you guys can go to StockSurfest.com slash Patreon, and make sure to get your five stocks from Moomoo. It's literally free money. Use my link down below, deposit at least $100, and you could get up to five stocks, each of which could be valued up to 3500 bucks. Again, link down below. It's free money, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.